Picture this. You're digging in the dirt, sweat on your brow, when a glint of metal catches your eye. Brushing away the soil, you unearth a treasure chest overflowing with gold, jewels, and unimaginable wonders. That's the dream, right? Archaeology might not be quite that dramatic, but it unearths real-life mysteries that are even more incredible. In Magina skull older than the human race, a tiny golden figure holding a secrete, or a hidden city lost to time. For centuries, archaeologists have been piecing together the puzzle of our past, one artifact at a time. These discoveries rewrite history, challenge our beliefs, and fill in the gaps of who we are and where we came from. We will start with the Sutton Hoo helmet found in United Kingdom. One of the most amazing archaeological discoveries in British history, the Sutton Hoo helmet was uncovered in 1939 at the Sutton Hoo burial site in Suffolk, England. It is regarded as a masterpiece of Anglo-Saxon creativity and craftsmanship and belongs to the early 7th century. The helmet was found during archaeologist Basil Brown's excavations at Edith Pretty's Sutton Hoo estate. An Anglo-Saxon ship burial was found at the location. It is thought to be the remains of a wealthy person, probably a king or nobility. The helmet's elaborate gold and silver ornamentation are mostly composed of iron. It is fashioned after the standard Anglo-Saxon helmet design of that time, with an iron cap with a dome top, cheek and nose guards. The intricate decoration which features geometric patterns, animals, and scenes from mythology is masterfully crafted. The helmet's design has symbolic meaning that probably reflects the status, ideals and beliefs of the person buried wearing it. According to certain interpretations, the scenes portray heroic stories, conflicts or legendary tales, and are meant to symbolize the wearer's status and ancestry. Up next, we have the Lascaux cave paintings in France. The magnificent Lascaux cave paintings are a collection of prehistoric art located in the Dordogne area of southwest France, close to the settlement of Montignac. The paintings, which were found in 1940 by a group of youths and their dog, are from the Upper Paleolithic, which ended some 17,000 years ago. The most well-known and important artworks are found in the Axial Gallery and the Hall of the Bulls, two of the cave complex's many passageways and chambers. Large creatures including bulls, horses, deer, and aurochs are the main subjects of these paintings, together with geometric forms and abstract symbols. The illustrations exhibit a profound knowledge of animal anatomy and movement, and are very dynamic and detailed. The use of color in the Lascaux cave paintings is among their most remarkable features. Natural colors were used by the painters, including charcoal for dark outlines, manganese dioxide for black, and iron oxide for red. They also used minerals, such as calcite for white, and ochre for yellows and oranges. To make paint, these pigments were crushed into powders and combined with different binding agents. There are several theories as to why these paintings were created. Some people think they were a means of communication, maybe recording religious ceremonies or hunting scenes. Some claim they were made for ritualistic purposes, calling upon supernatural forces or trying to succeed in their hunting pursuits. Still, others propose that the caves may have been used as initiation sites for young hunters, with the paintings serving as instructional guides or inspirational images. Now, we will discuss the Elgin Marbles in Greece and United Kingdom. The Elgin Marbles, also known as the Parthenon Marbles, are a collection of classical Greek marble sculptures and architectural elements that originally adorned the Parthenon Temple on the Acropolis of Athens. These sculptures are among the most famous and controversial antiquities in the world, primarily due to their contentious history and ongoing debate regarding their ownership and rightful resting place. Commissioned by the statesman Pericles and sculpted by renowned artists such as Phidias, the Elgin marbles were created between 447 and 432 BCE. They adorned the Parthenon, a symbol of Athenian democracy and the pinnacle of ancient Greek architecture. The sculptures adorned both the exterior and interior of the temple, depicting various mythological scenes, deities, and religious processions. The controversy surrounding the Elgin marbles stems from their removal from Greece in the early 19th century. In 1801, Thomas Bruce, the seventh Earl of Elgin and British ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, which controlled Greece at the time, obtained permission from the Ottoman authorities to remove sculptures from the Parthenon. Elgin claimed he was protecting them from damage and vandalism, but his actions have since been the subject of considerable debate and criticism. 
Next, we have the Altamira Cave Paintings from Spain. The Altamira Cave Paintings are a spectacular collection of prehistoric cave art located in the Altamira Cave in northern Spain. These paintings are renowned for their stunning beauty, exceptional preservation, and significant age, dating back to the Upper Paleolithic period, around 36,000 years ago. The paintings were first discovered in 1879 by a Spanish amateur archaeologist named Marcelino Sanz de Sautuola and his young daughter Maria. While exploring the caves, Maria noticed unusual markings on the ceiling and walls. Her father, initially skeptical, soon realized the significance of what they had found. The paintings in Altamira are primarily of animals, predominantly bison, horses, and boars. These animals are depicted in a naturalistic style, showing a keen observation of anatomy and movement. The artists utilized the contours of the cave walls to create three-dimensional effects, giving the impression of depth and realism. Another important artifact is the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or the Pyramid of Cheops, is one of the most iconic and enduring monuments of ancient Egypt. Located on the Giza Plateau near Cairo, Egypt, it is the largest and oldest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex and is considered one of the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. It was built during the Fourth Dynasty of the Old Kingdom of Egypt, around 2580-2560 BCE, for Pharaoh Khufu. The construction of the pyramid involved thousands of workers, including skilled craftsmen, laborers, and engineers. Originally, the Great Pyramid stood at a height of around 146.6 meters, making it the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years, until the construction of the Lincoln Cathedral in England in 1311 CE. However, erosion and the removal of its outer casing have reduced its height to around 138.8 meters today. Next, we will talk about the Moai of Easter Island in Chile. The Moai of Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui, are iconic stone statues that have captured the imagination of people around the world. These monumental figures were carved by the indigenous people of Easter Island, known as the Rapa Nui, between the 13th and 16th centuries. They are one of the most significant cultural landmarks of Polynesia and are shrouded in mystery and intrigue. The Moai are massive humanoid figures carved from solidified volcanic ash, known as tuff. They vary in height, with the tallest standing at over 30 feet and weighing up to 80 tons. Most of the Moai have disproportionately large heads, elongated noses, and prominent brows. They are typically depicted with their hands resting on their stomachs and their eyes staring into the distance. The statues were carved with stone tools and then transported to various locations around the island. Lastly, we will talk